Overnight, rain has been very persistent, heavy at times across the Sydney area, widespread falls of 80 to 120 millimetres. And for western suburbs, it's the heaviest rain in about five years. And then a few western suburbs have had their heaviest rain in more than 10 years, including Canterbury, Horsley Park and Richmond, which have all had over 100 millimetres also. Heaviest falls have been on the North Shore, about 160 millimetres at French's Forest. Given that most of this rain is streaming from the north, it's typically how that works. Given that there's been in excess of 100 millimetres across a large part of Sydney, it has uh, made the roads really quite treacherous. There's a fair bit of water lying across the roads, particularly given that drainage has suffered a bit with a bit of debris recently. And uh, the Nepean River is uh, under a flood warning, only a minor flood warning, but uh, there is some flooding around the nearby rivers and and storm drains as well. So be very careful near rivers and storm drains and on the roads for the next few hours at least, uh, particularly when you're heading out, going to work and so forth, heading to school. Uh, but thankfully, the heaviest rain has now moved off the coast and uh, even... It's even cleared from the Illawarra as well. Uh, and the winds are also easing. They did reach 70 k's an hour on the harbour, but uh, they are easing now. But, however, the surf is staying really quite high. Uh, there's pretty large waves, 8 to 10 feet in the surf zone, but they're hitting the beaches at 5 metres in some places. And uh, that means there's a fair bit of beach erosion and there's some inundation with waves travelling further up the beach than the, what they would normally do. And the, the surf is going to remain quite high right through the week, even though it will gradually ease later today, but still be quite dangerous even late tomorrow. This afternoon it'll brighten up. We'll see even some sunshine, even will allow it to become quite warm. Winds will go from humid northeasterly and they'll turn more westerly and parts of Sydney will warm up to about 30 degrees and it'll be fairly steamy given that there's been so much rain around so a pretty sticky afternoon and pretty sticky for the next few days.